Greetings, everyone. Jim here. And maybe you've heard of xenobots. Well, man is playing God with AI organisms that now spontaneously self-replicate. Oh, certainly this can end well, folks. Um, now, let me run through some of this uh, information here. Minuscule biological machines developed by scientists from the cells of frogs commonly referred to as xenobots, can now self-replicate according to a new scientific report. Now, the xenobots were made public in a report last year, which suggested the self-repairing technology could be used to replace degradable materials such as concrete, steel, and plastic. Then, in March, it was revealed that the organisms had been improved to be able to remember their surroundings and assemble into a single swarm. Hmm. Now, in an article published in the PNAS Journal on Monday, that would be yesterday, suggests that the xenobots are able to self-replicate. You can pick any one of your favorite uh, sci-fi movies, I guess, and liken that to this. Um, Joshua Bongard, one of the co-authors of the new report, claimed that, quote, with the right design, close quote, the organisms will spontaneously self-replicate. That's another close and close quote. They'll spontaneously self-replicate and propose that the technology could be used to tackle future pandemics and speed up Vaxap production. Oh, isn't that great? Uh, Sam Kriegman, a lead author of the study, uh, uh, described the process as an entirely new form of self-replicating, noting that, quote, no animal or plant known to science replicates in this way, close quote. Now, the xenobots were conditioned to procreate by a supercomputer, which came up with just the right shape of ideal parents after months of laboring at the task, the researcher said, even though the design, which bears some similarity to Pac-Man, you remember Pac-Man, looked counterintuitive and too simple. It proved to be extremely progenitive. Yeah, progenitive. In other words, as a precursor, a, a bearer of a parent. Yes. Now, the Pac-Man-shaped parent xenobots ended up giving a rise to not just one, but several generations building great-grandchildren, who in turn created great-great-grandchildren. So these things are just, uh, they're, they're, they're replicating, as I mentioned earlier. They're, cre they're, they're creating more of themselves. And uh, this scientist, Bondgard, explained that the speed of replication plays a crucial role for the practical application of the bots. And of course, here we go. If we can develop technologies learning from xenobots, which where we can quickly tell the AI, we need a biological tool that does X and Y and suppresses Z, that could be very beneficial. Again, dealing with with uh, pandemics and vax apps, which of course, you know, they have a whole roster list and plan of these things to roll out. Simply stated, folks, this is man playing God. Uh, this is the working, uh, AI is the unholy spirit, okay? AI is the unholy spirit. It is Satan's unholy spirit. Um, this is man playing God while actually playing with Satan. And man probably doesn't, being the scientist, doesn't realize, or maybe they do realize. Not a good thing, folks. Um not a good thing at all. Certainly something that you're going to see more of self-replicating xenobots uh, as we move forward in time here. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. I will leave you a link to this. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share it. Please comment. And hopefully, prayerfully, your comments will stay there because they seem to be disappearing from my videos. Uh, check out the links below to my fiction books, to this website here, stormmorningnow.com. Most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.